Kasim, just take us through what exactly is Takuba and why is it being dismantled? Well, actually, Takuba is, as you said, a European special uh, forces group which was created in the aftermath of the PO meeting in January 2020, where it was uh, the aim was to focus on the three border region between Mali, uh, Niger, and Burkina Faso in order to counter the Islamic State surge. Uh, in this region in particular, we are talking about 800 military that were engaged with 10 European countries, Belgium, uh, the Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, France, of course, uh, Hungary, Italy, uh, Holland, Portugal and Sweden. And even the command was given to Sweden at uh, one point. We are talking about more than 75 operations over the period of time uh, between uh, the 2nd of April uh, 2021, where they were full operation capability and a few uh, a few weeks back and 80 percent of those operations were to help the Malian forces counter the jihadi uh, elements there and here we see on this uh, on this map the the major regions of operation the major contributing uh, countries and operational fighters from uh, Estonia and uh, from uh, other uh, countries like uh, Czechia on the ground with French forces knowing that they didn't sustain any casualty over this period. They had wounded, the French had wounded, Europeans had wounded, but still the Europeans kept their engagement with this force. So with the dismantling of this mm. team, what impact is it going to have on the region? Well, actually, it was inevitable since Mali wanted the French out, the Europeans out, and at some point, even the United Nations forces, the MINUSMA, uh, out. So uh, it wasn't possible for them to stay there because their mandate from their parliaments was given only for Mali. So they couldn't just relocate to Niger or uh, Burkina Faso. So the impact on the ground, will is, we started to feel it a few months back. We know that the Islamic State is more and more operational in the Menaka region, in Gurma. They even knocked on the doors of Menaka, the, 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 the town. They are like 50 kilometers away. And here we see uh, jihadis of, of the Islamic State. And we know too that even with the renewed of the mandate of the MINUSMA, which happened on the 29th of last month, the French don't have the right to uh, reassure, as they say, or to help the MINUSMA. And here we see a footage of an IED, an improvised explosive device, against a MINUSMA vehicle in Kidal, the town of Kidal. So, of course, uh, jihadi factions as Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State, which are fighting together, will have more space to operate, especially without a French aerial uh, cover and we saw it and we're going to see it on daily basis. It doesn't mean that everything was fine before, but they were contained and they will be less contained today with the absence of French special forces, European special forces, and especially air cover in Mali. Basim Nazir, thank you. Thank you.